Hello everybody, welcome to Trade Receivables, Set 2, Question 1, Revision. Now I'm not going to read the question, I'm going to leave it to you to read it on your own. But if you have not read the question yet, please feel free to pause the video and read the question on your own. I'm going to jump straight in. In the very first question, they tell you to calculate the amount of cash discount that was given on July 17th. So if we read what's happening on July 17th, you see here that the business received a cheque from Kimberly for the amount that is owing on 1st of July. So what is the amount that is owing on 1st of July? Let's take a look. Aha, here it is. The, follow, the business provided the following balances on 1st of July. Kimberly, all right, Kimberly owes $1,600. How do I know it's owed? Oh, because of this debit here. When it is a debit, it tells me that this is a trade receivable. All right, why is it a trade receivable? Because trade receivable are assets and assets have debit balances. On the other hand, on the other hand, trade payables are liabilities and they have credit balances. So this is a trade receivable. Now you receive a check from Kimberly for the amount owing on 1st of July, which is 1,600. And it was informed to you that a 5% cash discount was given. That's why the cash discount is taken to be 1,006 times 5% equals $80. The theory is straightforward. I'm just going to leave you to read it on your own. Lock it. They are noisy. So the theory questions, I'm going to leave it to you to study on your own and I am not going to go through them. All right. So what I want to go through is asking you to prepare Kimberly's account in Ranger Trading's book. All right. So you have to decide, just now we already decided that Kimberly is a trade receivable. So it's actually the trade receivable hyphen Kimberly account. All right. So prepare this trade receivable hyphen Kimberly account in Rangers books. So that, there you go, trade receivable hyphen Kimberly. So firstly, because the balance that is owing by Kimberly on 1st of July is 1,600. That's why we have a balance brought down of 1,600. All right. Now other information that is to told to you, on July 7, you sold goods to Kimberly for 5007 on credit. Now, when you sell goods on credit, what are the two accounts? Firstly, you will record sales revenue increase. The other account is trade receivable, also increase. So now we are going to record trade receivable increase by 5700 So I have trade receivable, trade receivable in, sorry, increase by 5,700. The other account is sales revenue. All right, the other account is sales revenue. All right, next. Kimberly return goods. All right, so Kimberly returned some goods to you, $750. So if Kimberly returns goods to you, what are the accounts affected? You should be recording sales returns, increase, and because she returned the goods to you, right, she actually don't owe you so much money. So trade receivables minus 750. And we are going to record this trade receivables minus 750. Let me change the color. All right. So how would I record that? I would record it on the credit column, trade receivables, credit $750 here. What is the other account affected? Sales returns is the other account affected. Lastly, you receive a check from Kimberly for amount owing on 1st of July. So what is the double entry related to this? Oh, so many accounts are affected by this. Firstly, trade, trade receivables. Kimberly doesn't owe you so much money anymore. All right, trade receivables minus or credit $1,600.
because she doesn't owe you any money anymore. The next account that is affected is how did Kimberly pay you? Kimberly paid you via a check, right? So Kimberly paid you by a check. That's what we are going to record next. Cash at bank will increase or will debit by how much? It will be 1,600 minus away the cash discount. Just now, we calculated the cash discount, right? And we saw that the cash discount was $80. So um, $1,600 minus away $80. And that's because that is your cash discount. The last account that was going to, going to be recorded is discount allowed. Why is it discount allowed and not discount received? It's discount allowed because you gave that discount to Kimberly. So you allow Kimberly to have a discount. So discount allowed is a debit of $80. That's the cash discount. So what we're going to do is we are going to record this uh, trade receivables here of $1,600. And you need to remember that this 1,600 is going to be split into two things. One is cash at bank and the other one is discount allowed. So cash at bank, so how does it record? It records like this. Firstly, the cash at bank first. All right, the cash at bank first. You will see that my trade receivable has increased by 15200. That's the cash at bank amount after the discount and the other accounts affected would be zero five um would be the cash discount which is the eighty dollars all right which is the eighty dollars and finally the balance brought down is four nine five zero so this is a trade receivable kimberly account all the best everyone in your revision